Hello everyone, I'm Shaylise and today we're going to do a study with me video. I'm going to go to Starbucks and um, study congestive heart failure and exacerbations. And uh, what I really want to know is the um, treatment for hospitalized patients since I will be doing um, hospitalist nurse practitioner work. Um, I kind of want to get an idea, well refresh myself because I graduated two years ago refresh myself on um, all the ins and outs of um, specific diagnostics mm -hmm. and then um, on treatment plans specifically what types of orders I will need to be placing for patients who come in and are admitted for um, acute exacerbation of CHF so I'm, I'm just gonna refresh myself on that so come along so I started out by going to the American Family Physician website and saw that they had an internal medicine section. So I clicked on congestive heart failure and um, decided to check out some of the links that they have there because this is a really great resource. Starting off with diagnosis and evaluation of heart failure because other than pathophysiology, this is one of the most important things um, critical to what my role will be. So I'm refreshing myself on that. And I always like to um, draw out the anatomy to refresh myself and do as much of it as I can without um, looking at another resource. And then I will look at another resource and compare to um, see where my knowledge deficits lie. So there's my little heart with all the labeled parts. And then we found a picture online and um, just comparing all the parts to make sure I have them right, make sure my mind is working properly. So I decided to um, write my notes out in the SOAP format since that is how I will be documenting most of the time. I think this format will help me to um, kind of retain the knowledge and then I work on my documentation as a provider um, so that I know what I need to look for in each section and then therefore know what I need to document as negative or pertinent, um, pertinent negatives or positives um, that my patient presents with or doesn't present with. So just doing a little bit of reading to add to my notes here. So for me, my brain is very OCD and um, organization works well to help me remember things. So I'm creating a chart um, that's nice and clean and organized and will help me just kind of compare side by side the systolic versus the diastolic heart failures. And I am just writing in a reminder that systolic is con during contraction and diastolic is during rest. So now I have a side-by-side -side comparison of the two types of heart failure for easy access. Now I'm going to a heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, um, the next um, link. And this is basically um, terminology for a diastolic heart failure. So now I'm just kind of highlighting some of the important details. Um, such that um, diastolic heart failure is common in older patients and women. Then, according to research, um, most treatments may not be effective, but diuretics are. That's very important for me to know. That would make that, you know, my first line treatment if there are no contraindications. And then, um, revascularization should be considered for these patients and those with coronary artery disease and some other facts that you know may be helpful to know. So now I'm just gonna go and add this to my chart. Common in women and older adults and that the most effective treatment is diuretics. Key points.
So I ended up staying for about three to four hours studying and these are my finished notes. So you can see in the top left corner the initial evaluation with the SOAP criteria, subjective, objective, the assessment and plan um, to rule out or confirm a diagnosis of CHF. And then lower um, the bottom left you can kind of see the um, specific diagnostics and um, their importance or relevance to the subject. And to the bottom right there are um, treatment modalities for the hospitalized patient, um, some orders that I should look into placing for these types of patients. Now I'm leaving. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll study with you next time. Goodbye.